This is the gearbox for the F0. This is a completely custom design done by Ricardo in the UK. Exactly designed for the car and the internals are built basically to a Le Mans Formula One standard. The process of developing this gearbox begins with the concept from ourselves and the specifications that we require. We then um, took that information to Ricardo, who worked with the design technique that we want, or manufacturing technique of titanium 3D printing. I mean, they were a little bit hesitant to start with. They wanted to cast at magnesium, so more conventional, lightweight race box, um, but we didn't want to do that because magnesium doesn't last. Um, it does degrade over time and we can titanium print, so we would like to. To do that, ideally, we would be printing it in a large printer because otherwise it means that we're gonna to have to divvy this thing up into about 10 parts to fit in our 320s. And we knew that 3D Systems were looking, or we had heard rumors of 3D Systems producing a large scale printer, which is something we always battle with, is actual build size, build volume. Sort of at the last second, we did find that this machine did exist. It was a prototype machine over in Leuven. Once we started talking to them, they hadn't printed anything that big, let alone in titanium. And so we started having that discussion that we would like to buy one should we be able to print the gearbox in it. And they agreed to do um, prototype prints in that, in that machine. So we went forward with Ricardo assuming that we could build in that size of printer. So we could divide the gearbox up into more desirable pieces. So this is only a four piece box. There's a front case, mid plate, rear case, and there's a side cover on the other side there. And that means that it was going to be structurally good and we're not just bolting it together because we couldn't print large enough. We've got exactly what we want in a, in a product that we know is going to perform. No compromises in any part of the transmission it, and the entire thing's completely custom for our application. But to finally get the machine here is just a massive, um, it's really a good day because we'll be able to make all the parts for the gearbox in-house. We'll have complete control over the process and we can bring to bear all the experience that we've got on the earlier machines, which we've been running for literally years. It's an eight-speed drum sequential and we use an electric shifter instead of a hydraulic cylinder and ratchet system, which is pretty unreliable. It's got a motor that's attached directly to the shifting drum and you've got real control. We can basically move that anywhere we like and we can do it quick. It's also got a Moog valve to control the limited slip diff. So it's a plate type limited slip diff, but we can, we can adjust the hydraulic pressure and very precisely control the action of the differential. So this gearbox weighs around 68 kgs. It is a full eight speed sequential with a hydraulic diff and it carries a thousand newton meters of torque or it's capable of doing so. For the amount of power and torque that the engine's got, it's very light. You know, it's much lighter than, than most others. The titanium case gives you a substantial benefit over either a cast aluminium case or a billet machined aluminium case. The titanium's just a fundamentally better material for the job, so you pick up significantly there. With the printing, we're able to print various passageways and ports and ribs and things that it'd be much more difficult to do on the casting side and impossible if you were machining it from a billet. The gearbox is complete now, so it's been machined, assembled and tested on a spin rig, and so we know it's functional. Next priority is to get the combustion engine running. We've made a lot of the small parts and sent those over to the UK. They've basically got pretty much all the components except for the cranks and all they've really got to do now is the machining of the, mostly of the castings and then just assemble the engines and dyno test.